What's going on, everyone? We're back with episode four of The Undead Hunter. Here I am, and it's funny, I'm in a robe, which is uh, not the typical hunter attire, but it's the gear that I want to be rocking. I'm also trying something new for this episode. Somebody in the comments had mentioned a add-on called Immersive, and basically that reduces all of the UI on the screen, aside from right now my quests. But you can see if I hover over where they are, like the mini-map here, it'll appear. If I hover over my skills, they'll appear. All of this, but otherwise it disappears. It keeps me fully immersed. Now, I don't know how I'm gonna like this. One, because I don't know all my skill layouts yet in Keybinds, so I'm still learning that. And uh, I don't know if my health appears when I'm in combat, so we're gonna kinda learn how this add-on works, but I think it's a cool way to play in the style that I'm playing here because I'm, I'm all about the immersion and kind of taking in the beauty of the experience. So let's check it out. Let's see how it goes and um, let's see if we can kind of get lost in things. So I'm going to start on this quest. We're looking for the Darkhound Blood. We're also looking for Putrid Claws and we'll go from there. It is kind of interesting to not have the mini map. I feel like I'm going to be pulling up my map all the time. But I guess the point of this is to get immersed and just kind of lose ourselves in the game. I'll actually close out of that too and we'll just fully take it in. All right, what are we looking for? So we're looking for, not the bats, we're looking for these fellas. I really gotta remember my keybinds here. Okay, so my health does pop up when I'm in combat, which is great. And I see my buffs, so that's nice. Minimap is popping up. So, I think I can get used to this style of gameplay. Oh, and my skills when I'm in combat pop up too, which is super helpful. So, we just picked up a heal. And your we heal ourselves for 30% and our pet for 100%. Exhilaration. Um, I just want to figure out where I'm going to drop this on the bar. I think I'm gonna make this a, uh... see this is where it's tricky. I need this bar to show up so I can see. Doesn't seem to want to. I'm gonna make that a uh, shift three skill. Gotta remember that I've got a heal. Okay, a couple of cursed dark hounds down here. So I'm already level nine. We're cruising actually. And I think in this episode we should hit level 10, which is pretty exciting because I believe a lot of features will unlock for us and uh, we'll get to experience some new excitement in the game. Now, what is this? Ah, we're not gonna have the robe on anymore. We actually have some leather gear. Wow, open chest. Look at this guy. He, he looks like he's ready to uh, hit up a party after he hunts. Okay, so how are we doing on the Dark Count Blood? We need two more of those. Then we're going to be looking for the Putrid Claws. It's pretty nice to have a 30% heal if anything goes real bad. I haven't been running into any issues with uh, any real concerns with taking too much damage yet. I need to get closer. Ooh, a Worgen Infiltrator. What is this guy doing? You deserve to lose this land for what your people did to us. Now back off or... As far as you know, Worgen Rogue Roaming in Tears Fall is a new development. This is something that Executor Zygand would certainly be interested in. Wow. So, um, for those of you just joining or who may not remember from previous episodes, we are an undead character. We started the character kind of arising from the dead and we decided to join up under Sylvanas with the other undead. Now, hold on, let's see what quest we're looking for now. We need to kill some Scarlet Zealots. Um, so, there are also are other undead who did not decide to join up with uh, Sylvanas, so we're sort of against them. There's also the Scarlet Crusade around here, which is a kind of guild of humans who are, um, these Scarlet Crusaders. They're fighting for a cause, but we don't like them. And so we're going to kill them as well. There's also Worgen from the south who are making their way up here. They're a problem. And then there's also Scourge from the north. So 
we are sort of just this isolated group of undead who are kind of clearing out everyone around us, it seems. Which, um, I don't know whether I fully agree with it, but we're on the mission here, so we're going to see how it goes. Now, here's a detail I always loved in this environment. If you look under here, there's just these eyes blinking. Like it's a creepy, like, cat or something in there. Love that they sneak that in. Doesn't do anything for the game, doesn't add anything. It's not a mob I can attack or see. Just some blinking eyes to add a little bit of suspicion and concern. Okay, great, so we gotta kill a couple more of these fellas. I'm actually liking this this user interface disappearance thing. It's, it's pretty cool. It does sort of invest you in the landscape. I need uh, one more missionary. Where are the missionaries? They all zealots around here? It's nice that they've added this glow to the herbs, because I find that in classic at least, it's pretty hard to see where the herbs are. You could be walking around and miss them. Peace Bloom, not so much, but like, um, what's the other one? Silver, uh, why am I blanking on it? That one is a little tough to see because it tends to blend in with the environment. Here's the missionary we need. Now, let's go up north to... I don't want to go down to Silver Pine yet. We'll go up to the Putrid Claws. Love having this little sprint. That's very nice. Uh, I can get my pet on follow. Yeah, I'm pretty excited to hit level 10 because I believe we can finally spec... And I don't know a lot about the Hunter Specs right now. I don't know what I'm going to want to go with, so we'll have to make a decision. Uh, that's not quite what I wanted. I'm just going to run from these mobs right now. Okay, these are the Putrid Claw guys. So let's down these fellas. It's nice to be able to just take out a ton of mobs. are easy to get. Ooh, I'm actually getting some potions here. So I will add those to the fold. That's going to be a shift 8 if I need it. I could do a shift 9 right now for that. I can't attack that so this potion, uh, the elixir that I made, is giving me 3 hours of... Why is it giving me 3 hours of a buff? It says it gives me an hour. That's a little confusing to me. Look at the the uh, glooming sort of mist above the water over here. That's a great effect, too. Okay, so we got all the claws, so now we need to turn in just a ton of quests here. And I th think... Why does it say one turn in's right here? Here we go. Death Guard Dillinger. I am forsaken. Have you completed the task with which I charged you? Do you have those putrid claws? Our time well done. Come. I enjoyed watching you smash those undead into rotting pulp. Watch your back. Alright. That's what I like to say. So we're going to head back into Brill, which is the town around here. What is it? I found it to be a pretty cool town. It's, um, it's the first sort of big town, I guess you could say you come to. Big, as we talked about this in the last episode, big is a relative term in this game because the towns can be massive when you get to the cities, very expansive. But I would say that, that Brill is a pretty big town. There's a lot going on here, a lot of buildings, a lot you can find, profession trainers, which I'd like to uh, move up my professions a little bit here. So we'll do all that when we get to town. All right. The bat handler has, oh, this is the quest to go to Undercity, which we're going to want to do. I'm waiting to do that, though. So let's see what Executor Zygand has to say. What would you ask of death? 
We shall herd the Scarlet Crusade like cattle to their demise. Beware. It sounds like we'll have to keep your... Bound. I'm sorry. It sounds like we'll have to keep our eyes out for this Voss character. I don't expect any Forsaken to receive a reward if we capture her. I'm just worried she'll eventually turn against us. As you remember, Lillian Voss was the undead who, the, the girl who was very upset to be undead, and we've seen her twice now, and I expect her storyline to continue. Trust no one. Mm. Yes, that makes sense. Since the Worgen have come streaming out of Gilneas, I knew it would only be a matter of time before they arrived here in Tira's Fall. Beware the living. These Worgen must be dealt with, and quickly. Our first priority is to eliminate any which may have infiltrated Brill. I want you to be on the lookout for any suspicious activity here in Brill, Boneblade. We know that these worgen can hide in the shadows, so look for any signs you can find. Footsteps, kicked up rocks, anything. Embrace the shadows. Interesting, so we have infiltrators here within the town. Okay, and this is the apothecary fella. The shadows beckon. Have you collected the Darkhound blood yet, Boneblade? Time is fleeting. Intrigue. You've done well, Boneblade, and I thank you for your efforts. And we're gonna get some uh, some more elixirs, which is great. This better be good. Ooh, what did I just I got some sort of rep increase. I am to understand that another one of those foolish dwarven mountaineers has just been captured. The Death Guard has him stored here in this building, and they've assigned one of their own to persuade him not to escape. Why don't you go see how the captured mountaineer enjoys this special drink I made for him? It contains a subtle hint of what the Dark Lady has planned for the rest of Azeroth. Oh, damn. Which, as we know, is a, a little bit of like a scourge corruption. Because we gave it to a human captured, a captured human earlier, and it basically killed him, which was very tragic. So, uh, is the guy up here? Yeah, he is. Oh, this poor dwarf is in big trouble, and we're the cause of it. Playing undead, you really do some, some brutal things. Why, if I had my trusted rifle, you'd be good as dead, Hunter. Just wait until the steam tank brigade arrives to rescue me. Ah, drink at last. What matter of ale is this? I'm sure it's no Rhapsody malt, but I'll take anything to wet the old whistle at this point. Oh man, watch this. I raise my brew and hope to be rid of the likes of you. And then it kills him. And the last guy, I think, turned into a zombie, but this one seems to just have killed him. Okay, we also got a belt, which is exciting. Okay, so our next quest is the, uh, the worgen, and then we're going to want to find... Um, we might want to consider flying to to town so we can check out the city. But the first thing that I want to do is actually move up my alchemy a little bit. Um, so let's see what we can make. Oh, see, I forgot this happened. Somehow I've trained cataclysm alchemy, but I want normal. And I don't really know how that happened. Oh, here we go, okay. Um, so I can do minor defense. I'll create all of these. Silver leaf was the other plant I was talking about earlier. And I'm gonna make a minor healing. Oh, and I think a worgen just trips right by us, trapes right by us. Why am I having a hard time targeting him? There we go. So there are footsteps around, okay. Um, I just wanna check if there's anything alchemically we can train. A ghost elixir. I don't wanna be learning cataclysm stuff. Beware. I don't know where the other trainer would be. So we'll have to just keep our eyes peeled for that. Okay, let's look around for some other worgen. I'm seeing the footsteps. So I guess I kind of just got to get close to them. And maybe start the attack. Disengage a little. And here's another one. Alright, easy enough quest. I love that it's, uh, for those of you watching this around Christmas time, it is almost Christmas, and uh, we've got the trees everywhere. It's really great. And actually some earthroot here that I'm going to come and grab real quick. 
I do want to put my potions up here. And I'm going to use one of them. My weak troll's blood. Again, I love that you get experience for herbalism. That's such a great touch. All right, let's find two more of these worgen. Here's some now. I have to say, there's a lot of worgen roaming around. That's actually pretty concerning. There's, they're not just scouting with one or two guys. They've got like 10 to 20 worgen stomping around here. I think this concern could be bigger than we realize. Okay, so we can turn this in. What now? To think they've been right under our noses. I'll put my death guards on alert. This will not happen again. Remember. Level 10. Okay, cool. So a couple things happen at level 10. We get a combat spec. We got a freezing trap. And we got a second pet, no way, awesome. Okay, so I'm gonna move that here. Second pet, freezing trap is nice. Freezing trap hurls a frost trap to the target location that incapacitates the first enemy that approaches for one minute. Damage will break the effect and the trap exists for one minute and we can summon a second pet. We also are able to run uh, Battlegrounds, which might be a fun opportunity at some point. Can we queue for dungeons? It seems that we can. I, I'm, I have to be honest, I'm a little bummed that I'm set on the timeline for Battle for Azeroth. I was hoping to um, be able to run like Dead Mines and stuff like that. So maybe there's a way that we can switch that later. But I do have a quest here also to get a mount. So a lot of good things happening when we hit level 10. This is a big episode. It's time for you to learn how to ride. Seek out Velma Warnum at Brill in Tirasfall Glades. Don't forget to buy your mount while you're there. Okay, awesome. So a lot of exciting things going on at level 10. So let's go buy the mount first. Then we'll check out our spec. I haven't got all day. It's amazing that you get your mount at level 10 and then it only costs like a gold. It used to be so challenging in classic to get the gold to buy your mount. Okay, do I have enough? I do. So do I want the black skeletal, brown, blue, or red? Do they have examples of them? I kind of like the blue. I'm gonna go with the blue. Somehow it became epic. I think that's just how they work now. Okay, so let's get our mount up. I'm just gonna throw my, uh, I actually have a bunch of these, which is cool. So maybe we'll just kind of throw this here. So that's gonna really help me get around. Amazing to have that at level 10. Okay, so where are we quest-wise? So our next quest is to move down there. So I might check out the city while we're at it. Show everybody how that looks. And we're also going to check out our spec options. So before we fly, I'm going to do that. Okay, so we have three choices. Beast Mastery, Marksmanship, and Survival. All damage specs. So let's see what they do. Beast Mastery is a master of the wilds who can tame a wide variety of beasts to assist them in combat. You get something called Kill Command. Give the command to kill, causing your pet to savagely deal damage. Bestial Wrath sends you and your pet into a rage, instantly dealing damage and increasing damage over time. Marksmanship is a master sharpshooter who excels in bringing down enemies from afar. You get Aim Shot, which is a casted, powerful shot. You also get Rapid Fire, which is a stream of uh, basically arrows that's launching out. And then you get Survival, an adaptive ranger who favors using explosives, animal venom, and coordinated attacks with their bonded beast. You get Raptor Strike, which is a two-handed weapon thing. So it seems like you're not really using a bow, which is super interesting. And then Coordinated Assault, you and your pet attack is one, increasing all damage you deal. That's really interesting. 
I'm mostly tempted by marksmanship right now because I'm liking just kind of being a big time bow guy. This may change over time, but I think we're gonna start with marksmanship. So we're activating the specialization. And now we should have some talents. So this is the new talent tree if you haven't seen this in Dragonflight. It's, uh, it's pretty cool actually. So we get hunter points and then we get our spec points. So right now we have some hunter points to deal with. Kill Command, give your, so I can actually get Kill Command even as a marksmanship, which is interesting. Give the command to kill, causing your pet to savagely deal damage. Concussive Shot, which dazes the target and slows them. And then Kill Shot, you attempt to finish off a wounded target only when they have 20% or less health. This is tough, some really good choices here. I think I kinda wanna start with the concussive shot, I wanna be able to slow mobs, which I'm going to go with. Okay, so that replaced wing clips, and now I have a slow, which is great. Okay, cool, so I think I'm pretty much optimized here. So Hello. let's see what the bat handler has to say. Dark lady, watch One of my you. bats can take you to the Undercity. Normally these flights require a small fee, but the flight to Undercity is complimentary for a handsome undead like you. Wow. Speak with me again when you're ready so that we may arrange your transport. You'll find Gordon Wendham in the trades, trade quarter of the Undercity. That's the same quarter where my bat will land. Awesome. Let's do it. Let's shadow. check it out. All right, so we're flying to Undercity. So let's kind of take in the surroundings here. Turn this off for right now. I believe it's a pretty quick flight. Now, for those of you who don't know the lore, Tirasfall Glades used to be home to, uh, or may maybe it's not even in Tirasfall, it could be in Silverpine, um, used to be home to the thriving empire of Lordaeron, which was a human empire so oh, this is a back way into the Undercity. And um, it was in the, I believe the first war, the Horde came and they they took down the, the city. And, uh, and now we're left with basically this other city that was built beneath it. So up above is the ruins of Lordaeron and underneath is this, this is Undercity. So a pretty cool uh, way to go about building a city. Navigation here I found to be relatively difficult, but I, did, I mostly played Alliance. Uh, when I was younger, so kind of checking it all out. Okay, can buy various things. There's a lot to explore here. So, what was the quest I need? Request a bat to the Undercity. Then talk. Uh, then take Morris's order to Gordon Wendham in the Undercity. So that's up here. I see him. The weapons what merchant. I keep my weapons in top condition. They are cleaned and ready for use. For An order from Brill. Very well. It is an honor to serve those who serve our Dark Lady. Trust no one. I've placed Brill's supplies into this crate. If you've already visited Brill and spoken with her Batmaster, then you may ride back a bat back to her. Speak with the Undercity's Batmaster, Michael Garrett. He can provide you with a bat to Brill. Alright, easy enough. And a good way for them to show me how getting around by flying, it's good quest design. They show me how to get around, they show me what I'm doing. I'm gonna sell some of this gear. Now, while I'm here in Undercity, before I fly back, I do just wanna look around a little and check out how things look. What do you require? Um, there's an innkeeper here. There's a lot of pretty cool stuff. It seems like it's kind of a loop around situation. Now, I believe there is a place here where I can get something that will be, it's called uh, an Iron Man buff or something. And it'll let me stay, uh, or it, it basically will keep track of if I die or not. It's kind of just a cool, fun little touch to have. I want to say that's in the War Quarter, so let's go check that out real quick. Typically, when I'm leveling a character, I feel like I'm always just cranking trying to level as fast as possible and not really soaking it in and this experience is is uh i'm aiming to do it a little differently i want to kind of i can mount in here nice i want to kind of take it easy and just soak it in and enjoy the experience which is why we're going to take our time doing this um i will also say i don't know if i'm going the right way i don't know undercity all that well so forgive me if i'm moving a little slow 
So let's see, is this where I pick up that Iron Man buff? We're gonna just check it out real quick. A lot of different trainers here. Okay, it seems to not be. I'm not gonna spend too long doing this, but I do just wanna see. And you get to kind of see the city with me. We do have a hunter quest. Speak quickly. A courier from Orgrimmar just delivered a message for you. I have to tell you that Tamanji, master of the hunters in Orgrimmar, has asked to meet with you. Travel quickly to Orgrimmar and present yourself to Tamanji at the barracks in the Valley of Honor. Remember. So Orgrimmar is kind of the main capital city of the ho of the uh, the horde. So that may be a place we want to check out at some point. And that's a hunter quest, so that'll be uh, something we may want to think about doing, but we do have some time for that. What a bizarre little city, huh? The Apothecarium. I don't know that this is necessary, necessarily a place I need to be. I don't, I don't think this is where I want to be. So we'll check the Rogue's Quarter, we'll check the Mage Quarter, and then we'll head back to Brill. Did, uh, I'm curious for you guys to leave a comment down below. Did you play Alliance or Horde when you were, when you were coming up? Ooh, nice, the Alchemy Trainer. What now? Okay, that's not gonna help me. Um, I was a big, I've said it a few times on, this, on the uh, videos here, but I was a big Alliance guy. So to come and then get to play through these Horde sections is really nice for me. It's a cool experience to kind of take in Take in the um, the storylines that I didn't get to know. Okay, so we've got engineer, trainer, heirloom curator. What is it? Interesting. So you can just kind of scoop up heirlooms. Oh, I do hard. have heirlooms um, that I could have equipped it here, but I kind of want to play it raw and without that, and just take it in the fun way. Okay, so here we've got rogue trainers. In this section that makes sense in the rogues quarter. Yeah, I don't know where the the guy is that gives you the little Iron Man buff. I thought he was around here somewhere, but we'll check the we'll check the mage's quarter, and if he's not there, we'll we'll roll on. Did people for people who played Horde was Undercity a populated? Si Place? Did people come here a lot? Like, I know that the Exodar was a place that people didn't really go for Alliance, but it was a cool what spot nonetheless. Some sort of ziggurat formation here. It doesn't seem like uh, I'm going to find what I wanted. That's okay. I could look this up, but I'd like to just kind of keep it Keep it fresh, you know? That's what we're here for. And that may have not even been in retail. That may have been in, in classic, the thing I'm thinking of, so. Okay, so now we gotta find our way back to the bat trainer, the bat herder, if you will. Which, which might be a little bit of a struggle. <laughs> All right, how do I get up on top? Let's check it out. This might be the trick. Okay. That's just the bank here. Yeah. And also, this War Chief's Herald was something we unlocked at level 10. Battle for Azeroth mission statement. Boneblade, the War Chief has summoned you to undertake a mission of the utmost secrecy. The very future of the Horde is at stake. All right. No time. So here is the way this works. When they put out, I think it was Shadowlands, they did a leveling squish. And so now you have to go through fewer levels. So you can kind of pick and choose what expansion you want to play through. So we could do something like the Taunin and Jungle and play the um, Warlords of Draenor expansion. We could do the Burning Legion, which I believe is the Legion expansion. Or we could go and check things out with Chromie and change the time that we want to play in, which I may want to do. So we'll save this if we want to go check that out in Orgrimmar at some point. But for now, I'm liking the storyline we're getting in the starting area, and I'm going to head back there. Better be good. If you must travel a long distance, then a bat is your best Beware option. This crate must reach Brill quickly. That is easily done. 
Our bats fly there daily. Watch your back. The bat master in Brill is bat handler Annette. If you've already met her, then I can give you a bat to fly back to her. Our bats will always fly to the Undercity, but to travel to more remote loca- lo- Wow, I'm struggling to speak. To more remote locales, their rider must first visit the area and speak with its bat master. You've met Annette in Brill, so you may now fly bats there. Speak with me again when you're ready. Our time will come. All right, let's do it. Back to Brill. So we'll fly out of the city. I always found the um, this form of travel pretty cool in WoW too, because it it lets you. It's not just a portal or anything. Yeah, it takes a little bit of time, but it lets you soak in the environment. And a lot of places that, especially in Classic WoW, before there were flying mounts, before you could get around easily, you got to see a lot of places that you wouldn't generally see. Like this is such a cool path that we're flying through right now. And so I always found that to be really, really nice. The Scarlet Watchtower. So you can see these ruins of what once were Alliance um, places. The ruins of Lordaeron. And this is just a little settlement outside of Undercity. And now we're headed into Brill, which is just an establishment right near. Okay, so we have to turn in this crate of goods we got to Death Guard Morris. What now? Trust no one. Boneblade, you return. Do you have our supplies from the Undercity? Embrace the Good shadow. work, Boneblade. These weapons will ensure our Death Guards don't get caught unprepared. You've done a valuable service for our Dark Lady. Farewell. Awesome. So our next quest will be to head down south, and we'll continue the storyline from there. But I am going to call it right now. I'm going to pop into the inn, and we'll call that an episode. A really, really productive episode. We hit level 10. We made our spec. We are a marksman hunter. I do want to get to Orgrimmar to turn on war mode, because we'll get an experience boost. We can get some PvP going. Uh, maybe we'll try a dungeon. We've got a lot to try still. So if you're enjoying these episodes, let me know in the comments. Uh, go ahead and leave a like on the video if you're enjoying. Subscribe to the channel. I'm having a ton of fun doing this. So again, any of you who are enjoying following along, it really means a lot to me. Um, and yeah, so we'll check you back in the next one. Thanks, guys.